What is up, guys? Uh, you can notice me kind of relaxing here, but whatever. It's going to be a good video. I think uh, you'll learn from my mistakes and some mistakes I've seen people make uh, through YouTube videos and other things regarding cryptocurrency. So I'll start off with this story. There's this video on YouTube, and I'm sure you guys can find it. It is very easy to find. It's called the life of a Bitcoin miner or something like that. And it shows from 2013 until 2017, these guys that were mining Bitcoins. And little, I mean, I don't know the whole backstory of it. All these mining rigs they had could have been uh, financed through personal loans, et cetera, et cetera. But I'll start this off as my main example. And then I'll get into my own stories about Ethereum later on so basically these guys they had all these mining rigs they got in you know sort of i wouldn't call it the beginning of bitcoin but it was at a point in time when bitcoin was considered to be dying 2013 of course uh i don't know how many times bitcoin's been dead but obviously a couple of weeks ago kind of proved that let's just say a lot of people are uh, multi-millionaires now from bitcoin so that's a good place to start this and you'll get the you'll get the you'll catch on real quick to what I'm saying. So these guys, the only mistakes I ever saw them may make were Bitcoin would bottom out. So maybe their mining profitability, you know, there's a difficulty to mining, maybe their profitability didn't seem high at the time. So at one point they sold off all their rigs and like I said, I don't know if this stuff was bought through personal loans, I don't know if they had to sell them to continue surviving. Not 100% sure, but all I'll say is if these guys had continued to mine Bitcoins, and I'm sure they're very wealthy at this moment in time, I don't really know. But if they held on to any fraction of those Bitcoins they were mining, they're doing very, very well off right now. But imagine if they would have continued. I don't know how long they stopped mining. But I just want to imagine if they would have continued mining at the level that they were, where they would be at today. And it would certainly be a lot higher than where they are now. Okay. So now I'll go into my own story about Ethereum, which kind of relates to the same thing. I started mining Ethereum when it was at $50 to $100 a piece. And all I saw was what other people see when they're mining. They look at how much they're making per day, per month, per year while they're mining and they decide if it's worth it or not. Guys, that's not how you cryptocurrency at all. This this is from my own mistakes. This is not how you cryptocurrency at all. You don't crypto you don't mine cryptocurrency because today it's worth a thousand dollars, let's say Ethereum, and it's over that, but Ethereum's worth a thousand dollars today. I don't mine Ethereum because it's worth a thousand dollars today. I mine Ethereum because, let's let's face it, this point in time, for today, is the easiest mining Ethereum is going to be. It's going to be harder tomorrow. It's going to be harder the next day. So currently, I'm getting the most Ethereum I'm ever going to get at this point in time. So why would you mine cryptocurrency? Like who mines? an alternative coin like Psycoin or Dash or anything like that or Dogecoin. Who who minds that because it's worth less than a penny right now? You mine all that stuff because it's very easy to mine right now and it has the potential one day to take off like Litecoin did or like Ethereum did. I'm not mining Psycoin, which is one of the ones I'm mining right now because it's worth less than a penny a piece and I'm making this little, little, tiny fraction of profitability off of it. So, you can kind of understand, I was mining Ethereum back in the day, it was $50, and in my head, I was mining it for what I was going to make off of it that day. When in reality, I should have been mining it for what, it, what I held at the current time, and what I was mining at the current time, could have been worth a lot more in the future. That's why you mine. There's so many people in uh, that, that, that this is the biggest deal for cryptocurrency. There's so many people that still do not understand that concept. 
they're like, oh, I'm only making, uh, I think right now I can make $8 a day mining Ethereum. It's not a lot, guys. It's not a lot. I'm, I'm running a 2 RX 480 setup over here. Um, I, I mainly focus, like I said, on the alternative coins. i am actually been dull mining Ethereum with Sciacoin. But do not fall into that category where you're mining something for what it's worth today. That is a terrible, terrible idea. And you'll do what I did back when it was worth $50 a piece. I mined for six days straight. And let's say what I mined in that six days is worth a lot more now than what it was back then. And I kind of crunched the numbers of if I would have just continued up until this point in time, how much money I would have had. And let's just say that my truck that I've had for less than a year would be fully paid off, easily fully paid off, if I would have just continued mining. So I hope you uh, learned something today. And like I said, this doesn't apply. If you're a Bitcoin miner right now, I want you to have the same mentality. If you're an Ethereum miner right now, that Ethereum's up to, I believe, $1,400 today, have the same mentality. Do not mine these coins for what they're worth today. Even though there's still people... Like, I've, I've crunched numbers with Ethereum, guys. I could go out and buy uh, RX 574 gigabytes. They're actually doing ph phenomenal right now, hash rate buys. I could make enough rigs to support 20 graphics cards, and potentially I could make just about as much as I do now, and I, I don't mean this in a weird way, but I could profit potentially at this moment in time where Ethereum stands today up to like the forty to fifty thousand dollar range, maybe a little lower, thirty five to fifty thousand. It was somewhere in there. I crunched it. <laughs> so it's really profitable right now anyway. But just keep it in mind guys. Mine it cryptocurrency is taking the red pill. You don't do this, you don't you can't look at anything on this. You can't look at financial experts. You can't look at the news. You can't look at anything that says Ethereum is going to crash, Litecoin is going to crash, Bitcoin is going to crash. They're all going to die. They're all going to die out. Because Bitcoin proved a couple of weeks ago that all you got to do is save your currency until it does something like that. And then you can get rid of all of it. Screw it. Convert it back to United States dollars when it does something like that. Because obviously you've made enough where your life's on track. That is the goal of cryptocurrency in my mind and of course you can do investments you can mine, put more into mining once you make that money it doesn't matter you've got it made once you hit that point where something spikes like Bitcoin did even if you're mining an altcoin let's say you're mining a coin and it goes from you know less than a cent is what it's worth now it goes from being worth less than a cent to three months from now it's worth a hundred dollars a piece just imagine it you have a whole metric crap ton of side coin and now it's worth a hundred dollars a piece that is why you mine cryptocurrency stop going up to these calculators i mean they're a good thing to equate certain things but quit going up to these mining calculators and only thinking about what your currency your mining is worth today Thanks, guys. I hope you. I hope I help some people out. I hope I help some people understand what's going on. Of course, this is almost completely the opposite for somebody that just spends money and puts it in the cryptocurrency. But if you're a miner, look at it the complete opposite way, guys. Thanks for watching.